first time I touched a or played a synthesizer was in 71. Since then I used it quite often. Actually, technology influenced, the, influenced me a lot. From very beginning, I was interested in recording in, in, uh, uh, in stereo, actually, then with, uh, with uh, four tracks, then later on 16 tracks, uh, analog, uh, then it became digital, then digital 24 tracks, digital 48 tracks, and then finally digital in the computer where you have uh, as many tracks as you want. This probably was the, my first or a first song played with a synthesizer, which became then in England a song which they still play now in the football uh, stadiums. I think I was a step ahead when I composed uh, I Feel Love uh, because it created uh, uh, somehow an electronic dance uh, feel and definitely that was a step ahead. I, I think the big uh, guys are, are mostly in Silicon Valley like uh, of course uh, Steve Jobs and uh, and all, all the guys who are inventing all the software and the hardware, and they changed life for the last 30 years. The first one I ever heard and I liked is a song called Diana by Paul Anka. I'm so young and you're so old. Da, 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 da. Pio Meno. I loved it and it was one of the reasons I went into the music business and it was the first song I ever played and sang. The first time when I thought I made it was when the number one song in America was Love to Love You Baby. That was the start of my career and that was the start of Donna Summer and I thought, okay, I, I made it, it's going to be good. The future of music, I don't really know. And I, I, would, I would divide it up in uh, content and delivery. Content, like the song in itself, uh, for, for the time being, I don't know what the next sound or the next thing could be. In terms of delivery, I think uh, uh, the, the, the visual reality, that could be the future where you have, instead of looking at the video, you have uh, the, the real three-dimensional vision, you have uh, the singer, you see it, you can interact. In fact, I saw a little piece of the new virtual reality song with, uh, with uh, U2, and it's absolutely extraordinary. So I think a combination of visual hardware and, and good songs, that, that's probably the future. <laughs>